Hello guys, my name is Shraddha. Welcome to my channel. And as you can see the title of the video, it's about all the online hate and trolling and all these memes which have been going around about Indian students uh, stuck in Ukraine at this point of time. And just on the same note, trolling all these Indian students who have been studying abroad. Uh, before I start, I think you people have noticed that my background has changed. Uh, I have shifted off to Paris. So I think I'll be posting the video next. But I thought that this at this moment is very important to talk about this topic. Uh, because the hate I've been seeing is just too much. It's heartbreaking to even think of people just commenting so much i mean obviously i've heard such things before but this time it it hits different uh so before i start with the hate thing i'll talk about those people who are also in the wrong on this side that is on the new students who are gone abroad it's to talk rubbish about india i mean dude why why do you have to talk rubbish about india that country has given you your first education. That country has given you culture. That country has given you your existence in the first place. So it's wrong to say something like that about your country. And especially when you go out and you talk like this, you're not going to give a very good image of your own country. You should always take pride in your country. And if you don't have anything good to talk about your country, at least don't talk bad about it. And when I say uh, don't talk bad about it, I mean, I'll say that each country has its own problems and it's okay to have constructive discussions and criticisms about things which are going wrong in a country in a more respectful manner and not in a condescending manner, neither generalizing the whole country about few wrongdoings or some problems because really every country has its own problems. So just discuss it properly rather than blaming the entire country for that. Don't do that. It's not a good thing to do. Now, as we have taken that point out, because like, yeah, I have been seeing people being called out uh, because some students who left the country, they have just tweeted few things like, okay, I'm done with the country. And now that they are out and they are getting help, they're very thankful that they're getting help. I think uh, you should be called out for that. But on the same point, you should not be given hate for that. Why did they go out? Couldn't they study in India? Or things like, ah, now that they are stuck over there, they didn't pay for their flights and they expect the government to give them a free ride home and yeah, just bring them back on the taxpayers' money. That Why didn't they leave before this? Because there was a notice which was given much before. I'll get to each point separately. First being, when we choose international education, it's not an easy step to take. It's difficult. It's difficult for every field, specifically if you're going to countries where they don't speak English. It's a struggle from day one or even before that. Then you struggle at every step apart from the language. From starting your plans, from the paperwork, to applications, to rounds. And then after you land in the country, there are problems at every step. I'm not saying that you won't face struggles in India. You can face struggles in India also because education in itself is not an easy thing to do. But here you come out of your house, come out of your country. You go far away where at least mentally you think that you're very far. And right now, you know, physically also very far. It's not easy to go back. It's not easy to call for help. Secondly, People who want to leave the country, they also want to leave the country to explore opportunities. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are trying to demean their country that, okay, it doesn't have it. So I want to go out and it's okay to even not have it. It's not demeaning. It's okay. If you want to explore, go explore. People do that all the time. Even over here in Europe, it's so common. Like obviously if it's a European Union. People study here. Then we have Erasmus. They explore, maybe some people go to South America. They, they do go around. They want some cultural exposure. The more the exposure you have, the better it is for your personality development as well. This point is specifically for medical because most of the students which are stuck, who are stuck in Ukraine at this point are uh, medical students. So 
they say that uh, some people in India, they're saying that they could have done their medical from India. Oh, sure, they could have done that. They couldn't clear their need. They were not capable enough. Okay. So you're saying that a person who couldn't clear an exam is not capable enough. So where are those people who used to post these nice statuses saying that do not judge a person just by a paper? Where are you right now? Why are you judging them again? Now, let's say if a person is not capable enough, if a person was not capable enough to clear up need, to crack the exam to get a seat, what is he supposed to do then? You tell me right now. The thing is, topic of mental health has been discussed over and over. There are multiple types of mental health problems and people take drastic steps because of being pressurized and being told by multiple people for months together that you couldn't crack this. It's not easy to be in that situation. Now, in this situation, let's talk about the exam itself. There are around 15 lakh people who give this exam per year. I mean, you can check the stats. I'm here to talk about mostly the online hate. So I will not go deep into the stats, but the stats are like around 15 lakh people give this exam each year, out of which seven and a half lakh people get selected, out of which one and a half lakh people get government colleges. Then comes the private colleges. For that, the seats are limited and they are being charged exorbitant amounts. What I have heard, again, these numbers, you can go and research. I'm not putting a claim over here that all private colleges are charging this. But what I have heard is they are getting charged somewhere between 50 lakhs to even 1.5 crore rupees. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now, there are not many people who can afford that. But they want to become a doctor and it's okay. Go become a doctor. Prove your capabilities elsewhere. Get that training you need. Now, when these people choose a foreign country, it's okay to choose it. It's your choice. They went there. I'm not pointing out educational problems in India over here. I'm not trying to demean anything again. All respect to India, all respect to people who study in India. It's not about demeaning India. It's about people who end up choosing abroad. So these people can get the same degree in a country in one-fourth of the price they'll pay in India. Why won't they choose it? An average middle-class person who cannot afford it, who wants it, they'll go, they, they'll go for a loan. Not all of them are rich. Not all of the people who go abroad for studies are rich. They go, they get a loan, and they go out and study. It's okay. And coming on degrees, they try to take degrees which are recognized elsewhere as well. And even after that degree, they have to write exams in the respective country they want to practice in, to get in there. So they do get tested well, even after that. Next, about students fleeing from Ukraine right now. And people questioning like, just stay there help them their first year second year students are they qualified enough to be doctors or they really really know it and even if they know it even if they are final year students let's say it's their choice to save their lives it's basic human instinct to save yourself to survive and if for that they are trying to flee it's okay i know there are some people who are complaining about not getting food they got sandwiches with some meat they wanted they didn't want to eat I mean, they're complaining, so people are like, okay, stop complaining like brats. I understand that. But they are complaining and they are going through something which we people are not. We are in the comfort of our houses. On a couch, I'm just passing on comment on Twitter, on Instagram. We can't see that. Those people are dying. They are facing such risk. They know their life is at risk. People are getting hypothermia. People are having other problems for three, four days. They are out there in minus degrees, below zero degrees, and they're not getting food, water. They're just out in the open. They're just struggling for their life. Now, there will be some people who will say that for evacuation, they are asking the Indian government to evacuate them for free. They are getting the taxpayers' money. Now, I want to ask... Many of those have their parents or their guardians 
whoever is paying up for their education, they are paying the tax in India. So it isn't like they never paid or the guardian never paid tax in India. They are also paying tax in India, man. It's their tax money too. Now the thing is, anyone who gets stuck outside will get some help. So most of these people are actually grateful of India to get them back to the country. And India has done a phenomenal job in getting its citizens rescued from this zone. It's also wrong to like blame them to get fast service. Obviously, it is wrong. But I really appreciate whatever India has done till now and whatever it will be doing in future because India as a country holds very strong position internationally. We are patriotic. We love our country, but that doesn't mean that we cannot go out to explore things. When people go out young, they struggle, they see a lot of things, they have to go through a lot of hardships. And after that, after a point of time, when they achieve something, these all people, there are some people over here who will post on Facebook, Instagram, or elsewhere with their photos. Oh, I'm so proud of Sundar Pichai. He became the CEO of Google. Do you realize as struggle days, you take pride in writing Kalpana Chawla's name, Indira Nui's name, Satya Nadila's name. And the, 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 the list is really a long one. You take pride in all of these people when they accomplish something. Why don't you support them in their struggling phase? Why don't you support them in their struggling phase when they need it the most? Don't try to pull them down or don't throw comments and trolls like this. It's not a good thing to do. You know what? It's good to stay in India. It's good to go abroad. I know people are saying that you can achieve everything even staying in India. It's good. If you can achieve everything like that, staying in India, I really appreciate them. But it is also okay to not achieve it in India and to take a step back and think what you can do. Stop pressurizing people on why couldn't they achieve the same things in India. Stop that. Let people do what suits them. Really. And you know what? Half of you who have been trolling, half of you will change your opinions if you get an opportunity to go abroad. I mean, opportunity to live in India and to study in India is great. But also, if you get an opportunity to go abroad in any country to study, you, your sister, your brother, your family member, or some loved one, some very good friend of yours, you will change your opinions right there. Next, when we talk about students going to other countries, we often forget to talk about those students who come to India to study. I myself, I come from a college which had students from various countries and it was a very nice culture overall because we got to know a lot of stuff they got to learn a lot of stuff from us from india i come from a city called dehradun dehradun masuri these cities are famous for having schools which have a lot of international pupils in them why do they come to india to to really gain the culture to gain the change in environment it gives them an exposure so are you gonna say that they didn't love their country so they left their country and came to india no you say that we are proud of india because people are choosing our country you know it's good people choose our country and it's also good if we if people choose other countries let them explore in the end my message is like stop this hate stop this trolling of indian students going abroad we carry our culture in our heart we carry our country in our heart I know there are few people who have been saying all wrong things about our country and I'm going to leave it out of this equation. Call them out. Really call them out. But do not spend time trolling them or hating them. It's not going to lead to anything fruitful. It can hamper their mental health. It You will just lose your energy and your time. Rather make peace of what the person is doing let them do you know the old english saying to each his own let that be a point just spread support if you can't spread support or your love just don't put hate on them and yeah i think uh, that's about it and perhaps i'll see you in the next video where i'll be showing you how i came to paris and my journey so far 
so if you like this comment and if you have some arguments about it i'm free for a discussion just put your thoughts right here in the comment section and have a good time like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel share it to your friends make them subscribe too and i'll see you guys the next time bye bye